a farmer discovers something huge in his backyard and is surprised by what happened. Over the course of history, scientists, researchers, and archaeologists alike have uncovered some incredible discoveries buried deep beneath the earth. In fact, the world is covered in incredible archaeological sites that have been brushed away using tools and diggers. All of these discoveries shape our history, and it all starts with an initial discovery. Most of the time, these discoveries are found in locations that have been tracked and mapped for years. Their digs are scrupulously detailed, and often planned years in advance, with masses of funding and even more research. Very rarely do we hear of someone just stumbling upon a historical relic or an intricate fossil in their backyard, or on their walk to work, or even during their saltwater swim. Everything is seemingly meticulous in the world of archaeology. Or is it? Well, on Christmas Day in 2015, one man discovered something on his land that would change his life forever. Before too long, his property had become an intense archaeological site that was being poked, prodded and dug from every angle to try and retrieve the treasure below. But what did he find? Well, you'll have to read this story to find out. For many of us, a stroll over the Christmas holidays is relatively quiet, but for one man in Argentina, his short trip was even more exciting. After getting outside for some fresh air, farmer Jose Antonio Navas stumbled upon what experts believe are the remains of a prehistoric giant. The three-foot, one-meter, shell discovered on a riverbank near a local farm may have been a glyptodont, a type of giant prehistoric armadillo. Jose Antonio Nevas discovered a three-foot, one-meter, shell, pictured, on a riverbank in Argentina that may be from a glyptodont, a prehistoric type of giant armadillo. While there is a possibility that the coincidence was a hoax because it has not been directly studied by experts, Adrian Lister of the Natural History Museum in London told Mail Online, I think it is very likely that this is real. The shell looks like a true glyptodont shell, and the hole is wear and tear, not where the head or tail went, he explained. His wife, Rina Coronel, said Mr. Navas initially thought the black, scaly shell was a dinosaur egg when he saw it in the mud. But a paleontologist who studied the images later said that they belonged to an ancient ancestor of the armadillo. There's no doubt it looks like a glyptodont, exclaimed Alejandro Kramers of the Bernardino Rivadavia Museum of Natural Sciences. Since the shell looks so perfect for its age of around 10,000 years, some think it might be a hoax. After studying the images, the paleontologist said there was no doubt that the shell belonged to an ancient ancestor of the strange creature, pictured. Glyptodonts are the ancestors of modern armadillos. They have lived in South America for tens of millions of years and had large, round armored shells weighing up to a ton. It seems real enough, Dr. Ross McPhee, curator in the Department of Mammalogy at the American Museum of Natural History, told Mail Online. Full shells are rarely found, but they do happen. Mr. Navas found the projectile beside a stream on the couple's farm in Carlos Spigazani, about 25 miles, 40 kilometers, south of the capital, Buenos Aires. My husband got into the car and when he came back he said, Hey, I found an egg that looks like it came from a dinosaur, said Mrs. Coronel. We all laughed because we thought it was a joke. Navas told Toto Noticias TV that he found the shell partially covered with mud and started digging around it. Here a policeman looks at the partially excavated fossil. The animal became extinct thousands of years ago and it is very common to find its fossils in this area, paleontologist Dr. Kramers told AFP. The cover image appears on the site. Several experts who saw television images of the body said it was likely a glyptodont shell. Professor Lister explained it's common to find fossils buried in the bank of streams and rivers, because flowing water gradually erodes the bank to expose ancient shells and bones. The finder would first have spotted a small area of the shell exposed in the stream bank and then by digging, exposed the whole thing, he said. This scenario is supported by the green staining on the shell, just in the area where it might first have been exposed to the stream, even with a kind of tide mark on it. It would be an ingenious hoaxer who would construct such a thing. What are glyptodonts? Glyptodonts are the ancestor of modern armadillos, which can be found across South America. They were much larger, weighing almost as much as a small car and were covered in armor some 2 inches, 5 centimeters, thick. The armor was made of bony deposits in their skin called osteoderms or scuts. Each species of glyptodont had a unique osteoderm pattern and shell type, making them relatively easy to identify. Glyptodonts, illustrated, lived in South America and had big round armored shells, weighing up to a ton. They possessed a tortoise-like body armor, made of bony deposits in their skin called osteoderms or scuts. 
While they may have had tortoise-like shells, they could not withdraw their heads, but their armored skin provided a bony cap on the top of their skull for protection against predators. Dodecurus, one type of glyptodont, possessed a large mace-like spike tail that it would have used to defend itself from predators such as large carnivorous birds. The relatively gentle giants were herbivores and had a number of cheek teeth to grind tough plants effectively. Glyptodonts roamed South America, gradually spreading north over millions of years and finally became extinct 10,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age. Other megafaunal species such as giant ground sloths and pampathers, another armored armadillo-like animal, died out at this time. Glyptodonts are the ancestor of modern armadillos which can be found across South America. A stock image of a hairy armadillo is shown above. Dr. Bill Sellers from the University of Manchester also believes the shell is from a glyptodont, saying, the wear and tear is just what you'd expect, glyptodonts aren't so old, as they're from the Pleistocene, so you can get really excellent preservation. However, he said, on the other hand it is a little bit small. The carapace is supposed to be about 2 meters long but I guess there must have been juveniles and I expect there were some relatively small individuals too. Dr. McPhee said, the photo is not clear enough to say anything about the pattern of osteoderms that make up the shell, which is how species are identified. You are looking at the animal's rear the gap is just breakage and the head end faces away into the cliff, he explained. The deposit looks like loess, or poorly consolidated wind-transported silt-slash-clay, which is ubiquitous in parts of Argentina and suggests a Pleistocene age. The animal might have been buried, or possibly it dug into the deposit and died there. Late surviving glyptos were large, and this looks like a big boy. Nice find, he added. Dr. Kramartz explained, the animal became extinct thousands of years ago and it is very common to find their fossils in this region. Glyptodonts are the ancestors of modern armadillos. They lived in South America for tens of millions of years and had big round armored shells, weighing up to a ton. He estimated the specimen found by Mr. Nevas was relatively young at 10,000 years old, a period when megafaunal species began to die out at the end of the last ice age. Mr. Nevas found the shell beside a stream at the couple's farm in Carlos Spazanai, marked on the map, around 25 miles, 40 kilometers, south of the capital Buenos Aires. Various experts who saw television pictures of the object said it is likely to be a glyptodont shell. Here a policeman keeps watch on the remains.